I think skating culture is a movement. I think it's an opportunity to take risks because it's very dangerous. I just think it's a space where you can be free. Skating culture is very inclusive and somewhat empowering. I used to never think it was, but um, I know so many friends when they travel the world, they go skating and like that's how you instantly make friends. I think it's quite an inclusive space. My friends, which are guys, introduced me to skating in 2018. I'd see them on campus um, skating without me and then I just asked them to teach me and they did. I'd say the reception from other people has been mixed. Um, some people would regard me as a cool kid because I skate. Others don't understand why I'm doing it at all. But overall it is positive. Women aren't represented a lot in skating culture. I follow a couple of skating profiles on my Instagram and it's just men. And when there are women, I'd say women are generally underrepresented in skating, especially black women, but to be fair, there aren't a lot of women participating in skating in general, so it's not surprising. I'm very intimidated by men. Like, I, I can't, you guys, like, too many men, I can't, and like, skating is still very, like, male-dominated. I was like, I can't skate in front of men. And like, well, at the time, the, like the male skaters were like, tch, 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 they were, they were, they were doing the most. And I was like, I'm just here. So then I just told her, I think I'm a lot more comfortable with women, because um, it's not like everyone has their eye out, and like a lot of them were novices. Smudge is a subgroup of the Skate to Bundi Society, which is a road society for skating, and it came about. Um, I think Chloe was the founder, she just started a group on WhatsApp for girls who skate and asked us to just um, learn together and skate for fun. Smudge was started to just firstly teach us how to do it. But like because a lot of us were beginners, we were basically just teaching each other. But at a later stage in 2019, um, Skate Ubuntu got involved so they'd give us skateboards and sometimes they'd teach us how to skate and all of that. So. For us in the beginning was just to gain a little bit of confidence. I think Smudge came about because we were tired of being intimidated by the white men doing all those scary tricks and stuff and we were just beginners. So we thought it would be a safe space for us to just come together and learn together. I'd say they were intimidating um, just because they have all the experience that they have and we don't want to feel like we're under pressure because we're not as skilled as they are. So, like for example, when I skate, um, people always stare at me because it's like, why would a black person or a black woman do something like this? Um, so my experience as a black woman has been very interesting because sometimes I feel like I'm less of a black woman. I couldn't fill in that box because I wasn't black enough, I wasn't feminine enough, I wasn't culturally enough, but like in and of itself, being a black woman doesn't have one mold. <laughs>